going to take you guys to Little Italy. It's been a minute since I've been to Little Italy. I should actually wait to do this vlog, um, a Little Italy vlog, um, until September when they have um, San Gennaro Feast, but I will, I'll do it again then too. Anyway. <laughs> So these little side streets, once you get off of like the main streets like Broadway, they're just so cute. So just some little info if you are looking for Little Italy and you come to New York. Um, you're basically looking for Mulberry Street because Mulberry Street is street that Little Italy is located, like the main tip of Little Italy. I suck at this gimbal. I know that there's like a pitch lock thing to like lock it, but um, I don't know how to use it. And the thing is, I think that it doesn't work because uh, I tried everything to turn that thing on and it doesn't work. Check the shop out. Anyways, I think that I am in Chinatown. So, Chinatown is south of um, Little Italy. By the way, there's some really, really, really cool speakeasy bars in Chinatown. The one is called Pocket Theory. Um, it's, it's really, really cool. It's in the middle of a street in the middle of nowhere in Chinatown. Like, in the middle of absolutely nothing that you probably shouldn't go hang out uh, in the middle of the night, but um, that's a really, really fun speakeasy. There's another one right next to it, I don't remember the name. I am looking at this shop. It's so pretty. How pretty is that? So, this spot is really, really cool. I think it's a shoe store or something, but, um, it's got this room and it's like really crazy. Let me take you guys in. So yeah, it's a shoe store. And they've got this room in here. Oh, they changed it. They completely changed it, you guys. So the last time I came here was when my friend Simran was here from Australia and they had like this whole psychedelic, um, that room that I went into, they had like this psychedelic these little like chime thingies, but they were like, I don't know how to describe them, maybe I'll insert a picture. Puerto Rican music in Little Italy. Totally New York style. Welcome to Little Italy, guys.
Italian festival called San Gennaro and there's like the whole entire thing is filled with like um, food stalls and games and just like everything and you can't you literally cannot walk through the streets because it's so so busy there's like games like carnival games and um, food gelato etc let me show you the street it's really cute can you see I can't see anything this thing is like right in my eye I'm gonna repeat keep repeating about how I suck at this gimbal Guys, look how cute this gelato place is. Really, really cute. Let's continue on. I just feel like you can't really get bored in these streets because they just um, decorate everything so intricately that there's so much to look at, you know? Like, check this out. I don't know if you can see because I can't see a thing. <laughs> so right out. But um I'm on it later, you wanna eat it too? You have another photo. So during Christmas time they have like some little Italian Santa um up on one of those window cells. It's really really cute. Oh this is new. Oh wow. They opened up a big Christmas in New York out here. Check it out, guys. Guys, this place is like Christmas. Santa grew up or something. Christmas everywhere. Christmas is everywhere. Wow. Check this out, you guys. and then I need to book a flight somewhere. <laughs> Problems of a travel addict. So the second you get 
out of here though, it just get, kind of gets, and it put kind of gets like really shady. I actually do not recommend you go to Chinatown um, once, you know, once the sun goes down. If you're not from here. All right, next to Little Italy is the neighborhood called Nolita. To be honest with you, like they all kind of like blend in. Um, Soho, Little Italy, Nolita, etc. Um, but it's a really cute, artistic, fun little neighborhood. 